Hello, welcome to my channel Judge All Nations. In this video Christian Prince will make understanding and education about Islam to all Muslims. Also Christian Prince educates Muslims that in the Lord Jesus there is truth and no other. Now let's take a look and see what Christian Prince will tell you by arguing with Muslims. Enjoy watching this video and God bless you. And the Arab already have high building, not only that, the Arab have high building before Muhammad. Isn't it? Yemen is an Arab country according to Muslims. And Yemen they have many floor buildings since thousands of years ago. What is the prophecy about that? Same time, if somebody says to you a prophecy, that means he is sent by God. What if I said now a lie and tomorrow become true? So Muhammad he lie, his prophecy did not come true. According to Muhammad, the sun will rise from the from the from the west. So anyway, okay. So now people they build high building, and then after that, the sun will rise from the west. Are you there? Yeah, I'm good. So, is the prophecy is it true or is this is silly and stupid? You are from Poland, yeah, it's right? Silly, yeah, yeah, I am. You are from Poland, right? Yes, yes, yes. Hello. Hello, hello. Are you a Muslim? Yes, I am a Muslim, but uh, I have a question. Like, uh, I'm uh, I was a Christian before, yeah. Uh -huh. And uh, now I'm Muslim. I'm from Poland, uh, and um, I want to reconsider my choices, you know. And I'm deeply thinking about um, converting uh, back to Christianity. Why you wanna? Why you wanna? Of... Why you wanna convert to Christianity? You should stay as a Muslim. Don't you like? Don't you like to kill black dogs? You know, uh, this is. I I told I watch a lot of your videos lately, and uh, during this Ramadan, I, the big doubts hit me. I don't know why. And, uh, you know, my whole family is Christian and I want to, like, uh, you know, reconsider my choices. And uh, I'm seeking for your advice about maybe some books about preservation. This is my only uh, question about uh, Christianity. Because, preservation? Uh, about what, preservation what, what, of the Bible, you know? What do you mean preservation? Like, um, how can I trust it? Because I heard a lot of people... You like, don't saying, have to uh, trust yeah, it. Don't trust it. Who, who is forcing you to trust it? Don't trust it. Trust... Trust is something you make decision for it. Not nobody else. Nobody can force you. Nobody can ask you to trust, and nobody wanted you to do anything except what you need to do. So you say to me, "How I can trust it?" Well, I maybe I should send you back in the time of Christ, and then we bring a Christ in front of you, and then he will make the speeches, and then you read word by word, and then you compare what Jesus said, and then you give it signature and you approve it. So what you are saying is very funny and weird because when I say how I can trust it, well, why well, I will not trust it? The disciple of Jesus, they paid their life for the book which you are questioning if we can trust it or not. So why people, they hang them upside down, they feed them to lions and cats and tigers, and yet they insist that this is the word of God. What they get from that? beside being killed and tortured. So why people who they die and pay their life for the word of God will do so if this book is fake? Do you have an explanation? Um, I mean, didn't the companions of the Prophet uh, Muhammad uh, died too like this? Like, no, they uh, died to go to war to get the booty, not because they want to protect the book. <laughs> Hmm. You know, he so promised like... he, they have share, my friend. They have shares. Muhammad, he have the fifth of every share. The fifth to Muhammad, the fifth to Allah. So Muhammad have two fifth, and the rest will go to the Muslims. So it was not for the sake of Allah. It was for the sake. Muhammad he says, attack the Roman and get the blonde girls. Did Jesus says, attack the Roman and get the blonde girls? No, no, he didn't. So did the disciple of Jesus, they went to Rome and they went to Greece and they went to Egypt. And now the Muslim, by the way, he mentioned that uh, uh, the, the white man forced Christianity on the black man. But in case people do not know, 
that first people who received Christianity, it was African, because Mark, Marcos, and the other disciples, even to India, and the Ethiopian, all those territory, Egypt, uh, uh, Ethiopia, to the heart of Africa, we are talking about Ethiopia, Sudan, you will find the Christianity goes back centuries before Islam. In fact, Muslim they claim there's a chapter in the Quran called the chapter of the elephant. Chapter of the elephant. Yeah, in, I know, I know this. In this chapter, it says that a Christian army coming from Ethiopia came to destroy the Kaaba. So how this coward he say that the white man he forced Christianity on the black man when the black man was a Christian long before the white man. So they lie to their bones, hypocrite their, like their prophet. And their prophet himself, he went all the way to Ethiopia seeking refuge from an African Christian king. His name is an Najashi. So my friend, I'm not here to tell you to trust book or not to trust. This is your business. You want to be a Muslim? Good for you. Uh, you know, by the way, just to let you know, if you like to have a big penis, Allah, he promised Muslims endless penis. So I think you made the right choice. And I think you are a very smart person from Poland. This is why you choose Islam. I choose Islam because uh, I was ignorant, you know. Right now because I, I see what? that. Because what? Because I was I was ignorant about uh, my previous religion. Yeah? No, no, hold on. Okay, let us say Christianity is bad. Let us say the Bible mm -hmm. is not good. How in the world you choose such a garbage cult? Are you garbage? No, of course not. So why a person who is a clean will go to the hole of the rats? Do you like to have sex with children? No, no, but uh, but listen. What do you mean? Uh, no, 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 no. Why you choose Islam? Don't you know, really? Be honest with me. You never heard that Muhammad, he encouraged Muslims to have sex with the children. And he himself, he did? Yeah, I, I, I heard this story with Aisha, but, uh, you know, um, the, the Imam, yeah, and uh, other people that has uh, bigger knowledge than me, they uh, always said that this wouldn't pass right now. No, these were different times. And uh, so what, 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 me, the, you know? what different time? What different time mean? The child is a child. Even dogs don't go yep. after like, baby puppy. They sniff the dog. The dogs, they sniff each other. They knew if the, if the, if the female dog is ready. So what, what the different time? Different time. At that time, five years old, she was a, a woman. Five years old is a five years old. Uh, you know, I don't agree with that, of course, but uh, but they used to. I don't know about the history very well, but so what uh, do you agree about Islam? What you what did you like about Islam? You said to me you converted to Islam because you have a problem with your Christianity. What you like about yeah. Islam? Uh, you know, it's easy to understand. The, you know, uh, the how it the is easy. Islam no, no. How easy it is to understand. I will, I will, I will, uh, I will help you to tell me how that easy. Why Muslim kiss a black stone? Go ahead, Mr. Easy. Okay, sir. Perfect why the Muslims uh, why the Muslims kiss the black stone? As long as Islam is easy, explain to me in the easiest you can why Muslim they kiss a stone. The Muslims believe that the black stone was uh, like sent from uh, from God to Abraham as a gift, you know. So is that is that convincing like that? to you? But Allah he said uh, so uh, isn't it everything I didn't is said that isn't it everything is made by Allah supposedly including my you know uh, my fingers my toes my uh, my you know my my penis my balls so should Muslim kiss them too <laughs> no but but uh, this is not the point you asked me first what was convincing you know this yeah. is the point you said it's easy but this is not easy this is stupid religion this is easy easy so no, I'm I asking you a very simple, okay, what, uh, Mr. Easy, listen, what is easy okay. to understand about, who is Allah, first of all, is it easy to understand who is Allah? Yeah, he's like God, the, the ruler of the world, you know. No, no, God, who's Allah, who's Allah? And, Every religion, they have God, and they claim whatever yeah. they claim. Who is Allah? Yeah, like I said. In Muslims believe in Muslim belief is God. I'm not but asking you if my friend, my friend, Mr. Easy. Okay. We know that he is God for them, but who is Allah? You don't tell me my dad is doctor. I'm saying who is your dad? You don't tell me he's a doctor. I'm not asking you about his job. I'm asking who is Allah. Go ahead. 
how can I different explain that than uh, that? So, is, but I you said, said to me Islam is easy, but you know nothing about no, this God. I I said I didn't finish my sentence. I said easy is like the oneness of God and difference w between Tawhid. I let mean, us let us let us, let us focus on you know? oneness of God. If Allah yeah, yeah. is I, one or twenty, mm -hmm. are you the one who tell God how mm -hmm. how He can be? Or like, are you designing God? Like you like you like God as one. You don't like God as four. As an example, like, are you doing shopping? Is it you who decide what is better? Uh, kurva, uh, I mean, this is the point is that I don't understand Trinity. No, 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 my friend, focus with me, focus with me. Okay, if, let's go. If we go to do shopping in the mall, and let us say in the mall, mm. there's like many stores, they are selling God. Which yeah. one you like more, to buy the one God or two gods? Or the store who sells seven gods. So, what is convincing to you about one god versus seven gods? Why it's more convincing? Uh, I think that uh, seven gods uh, couldn't uh, like rule between uh, one another, like in peace. You know what I'm saying? They would... Okay, hold on. If there is, are you like okay? One god he can rule better. I think yes. Okay, one god he can rule better than seven gods. Well, if the word God mean perfection, that means now we have seven perfect versus one perfect. So how seven perfect is going to do less than one perfect? You tell me you are Christian, yeah? No, no, I'm talking to you, Mr. Easy. So if, yes. if, if God mean perfection, then it doesn't matter if he's one or two or three or four. Per perfection will do perfection. Correct? I see your point. So the word, but, uh, so word one doesn't make any difference because I don't tell God if he should be one or two or three. If God say to me, I'm ten, well, he's ten. If he says one, he's one. I don't discuss this. He, I, do I have a choice to say, no, I like you to be two? What if somebody like God to be two? He don't like one. Is God going to change now how he is? Because there is somebody. So when we say God is one or two, Christianity we believe in one God anyway, but this is not the reason to believe in God or not, because anyone can claim his God. Well, the Hindus, they have 35 million gods, and at the end, they believe that there's only one God in the top. But we did not reject them because they have many gods, but because the ideology is so silly and stupid. Same for Islam. So now, you say, do you Christianity believe in the Trinity? Correct? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Islam believe in Tawheed. Do you know what Tawheed mean? Like oneness of God, yeah? No, one. no. Tawheed mean unification of God. Unification. So how Allah is one and his religion religion of unification. Tawheed, if you, write, if you type right now the word Tawheed in Arabic, in Google, you will see Tawheed come as unification. Doesn't come as oneness. So, if Allah is one, you are going to unify who? Plus, you said you did. You did read. Did you read the Quran? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. I read it. Uh, the God of the Quran keeps saying "we." Correct. Yeah, I. Yeah, yeah. It's. Uh... I heard that it's about uh, the the old Arabic was like it's due to respect or something like to make him like uh, higher about. All right. You no. Know. So Allah is going to be higher if he is using we, correct? I guess in Arabic. But but this is just contradict what you said to me when I said to you we go to the store to do shopping for seven gods or one god. Which one is better for you? You said one. But now I mean, Allah. He don't feel respected enough by being one. But isn't that like a really cool thing? Like in Arabic, like, you know? Like, so are you saying to me that Allah using Arabic to be respected in a false way? Because either he is one or he is many. So if I use fake we, well, obviously, <laughs> I am not a God at all. Because I just used we 
to make myself elevated. So Allah, he feel he is not respected enough unless he is using we, correct? I, I guess you have a point here. Sure. But look what happened. Chapter 21, verse number 17, it says, Had we intended to take a pastime, i.e. a wife or a son, etc., we could surely have taken it from us. So you said to me, the oneness of God, Islam is easy. Go ahead. Allah, if he want to intend to take a wife, he will take the wife of, from us. We is for respect. So Allah, he feel disrespected if he is one, which is funny. But Allah will take a partner from us. How many Allah there is? Yeah. I mean, you don't, uh, you don't need to ask me about this question because um, my iman is really low. I don't even pray, so I'm just here for uh, to seek help, you know, from you. Because all right, I, I'm trying I to said, help you. I'm trying to help okay. you, to so you can understand that what they taught you about Islam and the oneness of God is a joke. As you see, this God, he is so silly. Like imagine, I keep saying to people, I am one, I'm one, I'm one, but then when I speak about myself, I say we. I mean, how stupid is that? Either you are one or we. If you are we, then tell us who you are as we. If you are using fake we, well, obviously you are a fake God. And if there is somebody, he think by using we, he elevate himself, that is self-confidence issue. It is. Because if you are not believer in the Trinity, like if the God of the Christian says we, well, Christianity teach God the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Wonderful. But the God of Islam, he used we for what? Is Allah three and one in the same time? No. So the we of Allah is a fake statement from a fake God. The Bible says the father of all lies is Satan. Allah, he just lied about who is he. So he is one, but he liked to be called we. He is one, but he feel he is not enough elevated by using the word I. So he used the word we. So if God cannot be respected by being one, so how a silly language can make God respected? Like I said, you, you might be right because... <laughs> But that, that still doesn't disprove Islam, you know what I'm saying? No, uh, uh, I'm not I'm not disapproving Islam. I'm just showing you that the, the point you mentioned to me, you said Islam is easy, they believe in one God. So I just destroy it. <laughs> I mean, how you believe in one God? Same time, the Muslim don't believe in one God. How the Muslim believe in one God? Yet the Muslim, they take the command from Muhammad versus Allah. So in the Quran, as an example, Allah, he said, do muta. In the hadith, Muslims, they say, Muhammad said, don't do muta. Which one the Muslims, they should follow? The command of Allah or the command of Muhammad? Of course, the uh, command of Allah, yeah. No, the command of Muhammad. You go right now and check. Is the muta forbidden? They will say to you, yes. Who forbid the muta? Muhammad. Not Allah. Chapter 4, verse 24 in the Quran says it clearly that this is allowed. So the Muslim, they follow Muhammad versus following Allah. Muhammad, he wins. How they believe in one God, yet they receive their command not from God, but from Muhammad. If the Muslim want to say to us that Allah told Muhammad to forbid the muta, okay, no problem. Show us the verse Allah he gave to Muhammad to forbid the muta. Did Muhammad receive a command from Allah? If you receive it, show us. So Islam is not worshipping any God except Muhammad. Muhammad is their God. If you insult Allah, if you say the F word to Allah, you can repent. But if you say the F word or insult Muhammad, even if you repent, you must die. If a person, he said the Prophet was black, he must be killed immediately. Man qala anna rasula aswad. Whoever says the prophet is black, kill him. 
Why? Because you are just insulted their God and you made him equal to a black person. We are talking about racism and I want to take your opinion in this verse in the Quran. Can you see my screen? Hold on. Yeah, 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 I can see it. All right. Do you like it if we say white for white in the case of murder, black for a black, women for women? Uh, if I like again, can you repeat? What do you think if we make law in Poland says, if yeah. a white man killed a white man will be killed. If a white man killed a black man, he shall not be killed. Uh, it's not just, of course. Why? Because uh, life, life is, uh, you know, life is uh, like equal, yeah. To okay. God and, uh, but this is what Islam, the easy, easy religion, you told me, teach. Yeah. So if a white Arab man, this is chapter two, verse one seventy eight. If a white Arab man, he killed a white Arab man. The white Arab man will be killed. But if a white Arab man, he killed a black man, a slave man, he will not be killed. How you explain to me such a justice? What kind of God this God is? That's why I'm here, bro. Mm. Because I want to come back, but I'm, I'm not sure. No, I'm not sure what to believe. Uh, be Hindu. No jokes, please. I'm not it's joking. I mean, soul, you yeah. know, I'm talking to adult. You said to me, I'm not sure. So yeah. wh why you are not sure? Why I'm not sure? Because like I said, I don't. Okay, I let don't us, know if let I us can, talk about uh, Islam first. Are you convinced Islam mm -hmm. from God still or not? I don't know right now. I don't know. So what I'm doing right now, so everything I showed you, I'm showing you in the screen. The Quran says in the case of murder, free white man for a free white man. And a black you man see? will not be killed for a free white man. So that is not convincing for you. So what is no, convincing? So what, what is convincing for you? How I can convince you Islam is false? Like what is, uh, what make it, uh, what make Islam false or Islam true for you? Like proving that Christianity is true. Pro of proving what? Trinity? No, no, no. Christianity. Like, uh, like I said. No, no. What, uh, what the Christianity uh, have to do with Islam first? What if Christianity does not exist? Forget about Christianity no. for now. So what? What make Islam true? Mm. What would make Islam true? Like, uh, first of all. Uh, <laughs> What would make Islam true? Yeah, like, uh, like it's like I said, like for people without knowledge, yeah, uh -huh. that big, no, big knowledge, like used to uh, that used to be me. That it's easy to understand for uh, when uh, when you don't know about it, you know, much. So the, uh, so uh, that's why I have doubts right now because I I know a little bit more. No, no, I'm asking uh, you what make Islam until now. You say, I ask you, do you like to leave Islam? You are not sure yet. So what is making you still think Islam is true? It's possible. What making you think this way? Maybe emotional, you know. That is what not, is emotional? You like uh, to have sex? For me. You like to have sex with the children? No, no, no. 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 Let, let me explain because uh, oh. I feel like I was happier when I, uh, you know, believed in God. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, you was like, happy uh, to believe in God. Which God? Like me, no. Um, in God, because I wasn't practicing Christianity. Before. Which which God? Which God? Which God do you feel happy when you believe in Him? It was when <laughs> it was when my iman uh, was strong. Yeah, it was Islam, of course. Yeah, but now I have doubts, and I was happy that I can praise someone. You know, like uh, like praise God. You can pray to Be... Buddha. I mean, you can pray to Buddha. Buddha is he look nice. I mean, what this is. Yep. So is it about feeling? Is it about you know? I feel happy. What uh, you can take drugs, you can feel happier. What happy? Like uh, maybe this uh, will sound stupid, but uh, what convinced me mm -hmm. at first 
uh, that the Islam was true, that like the the prophecies, you know, prophecies uh, like what? That like the um, the tall buildings, you know, the tall buildings. Like, you know, Oh, okay. Yeah, like for example, yeah, and uh, like the the Saudi Arabia will come green, like uh, like the they're seeing. Quran is Saudi Arabia is Saudi Arabia now green? Like it's the the I heard that uh, and I saw some videos, a lot of them. My friend, actually, to make my sure. friend, what are you talking about? They keep doing prayer for you know, type right now in Google Saudi praying for rain. I mean, they have the most ugly country in the world. And you are saying to me, Saudi Arabia become a green because somebody made a project and they spend more money on water than they will make. So we can spend now trillion dollar to make an area green. And then when the money is over, the ground is desert again. That is not making Saudi Arabia green. Those are stupid people. In fact, they lost all the water which collected through thousands of years under the ground in less than 10 years. So who is the dummy he said to you, Saudi Arabia become a green? If I go right now and type, if it's a green, there's no need for water and we have a lot of water and everything is good. So if I type right now in Google, Salatul Istisqa, and I will show you. <laughs> what is today? Mm, 26. All right. Of, of April, yeah. All right. You see my screen again? Yeah, I see, I see. Oh, hold on. Give me a second. I want to show you something new, not something old. I will use Google Translation. What is the date for this? Do you see the date? Let me zoom in. The 13th in the, the 1st... Uh... January 2024. Let us use Google Quran. Translation. <laughs> Saudi Arabia become a green. <laughs> All right, all right. So try to type it in YouTube, you know. You okay. probably will find this. Or the royal court, you know, ask the nation to pray in the mosque and to call for rain of a prayer. Why? Because they are struggling with severe drought. When was that? This is January. I just typed that in the YouTube, you know, I mean in Google. January 30, 4.50 a.m., correct? Yeah. All right. So Saudi Arabia become a green, but the country is struggling with rain. There's no rain. Maybe become a green because of Pepsi Cola. Maybe the Saudi they are doing urine more these days. So seek forgiveness from Allah and ask for rain. The king said. We ask Allah, the all, uh, Almighty, to have mercy in country and the people and to answer the prayers of his servants and to make what send down the uh, mercy to them and the provision for a while. Here, sorry, I mean, this is a prayer. So Saudi Arabia become a green. Now we go to the hadith you mentioned. You mentioned that the hadith says that the Arab, they will have high buildings, right? Yeah. Hmm. And that in did, the you read, is, did you read? Did you read the? Did you read the, the whole prophecy, or just read one? Uh, I mean, uh, just one hadith. I know, but did you read the hadith? Yeah, yeah, it's short. It is short. Are you sure? Mm, yeah. But I know it's long. So Maybe they. So is... so what they did? They showed you only little part of it, not the whole story. So here you will see, this is the hadith, and this is Sahih al-Bukhari. According to Muhammad, all those things have to happen. Number one, number two, number three, number four, number five, 
number six, seven, eight, nine. All right? Okay. So what is the one should happen before the Arab have high buildings? Um. I read. Uh, I didn't know this is was uh, so much of it. I read only the the one that was on the top. No, read, I read, thought... read, read. You see my screen? Yeah. All right. It says, uh, mm. "Till the wealth will be abundance." So before the Arab have high buildings, if somebody you ask somebody you want money, they say no, we don't want money. Everybody have money. Nobody want to take even donation or charity. Do you see it? Nobody yeah, needs nobody need money anymore. Is that what the case now in Dubai? Nobody need money. Is that the case now oh, in the shit. Middle East? Is that the case now in the world? That people nobody need money no more. Money in the street, nobody take it. So this is due to the like this is like connecting with with that uh, hadith about uh, buildings. So yeah, yeah. This is the hadith about the high building here. It's number nine. Don't you see it? <laughs> okay. this is the hadith about high buildings so the Arab they will have high buildings but before that happened people will not need no more money people will kill each other earthquake will increase and even time will be shorter so the day will be very short do we have a shorter day now? like um, like time goes, uh, goes really quick yeah then then yes, I think. No, no, this is not about time only go quick. This is about the day is going shorter. The day will be shorter. The sun set, the sun rise so fast. But this, this isn't it like uh, the, I think it is like, uh, like you know, metaphorically, yeah? My like friend, the, uh, the... how that metaphorically, if Muhammad making it clear, you are reading the English translation, but Muhammad, yeah. he is say, says, so the two time the morning and the night they will become so close how that metaphorically if you are working time will not time will go fast but if you are not time will still the same however regardless of who think and what you think time is a time we have 24 hours a day so this is about the time will be shortened number three the religious knowledge will be taken away. Do you believe that there is no Muslim, no more have knowledge in Islam? Um, like, uh, like, um, yeah, I heard that it's about the, the, the you know, the sheikhs and other the scholars that you know will say what is like uh, good for them, not about. Uh, I don't, I don't yeah. understand the word of what you are saying. Do you think no Muslim believe and have knowledge of Islam now? Nobody, zero. Okay, okay. What, okay, okay. So if this is what will happen, then before the have high building, all those things have to happen. No Muslim, that means no Islam left. Nobody have knowledge of Islam, have to go. Islam have to demolish. No scholars, nobody. And then earthquake will increase. And then the time will short will be shorter. And then people will kill each other. And then wealth will be abundance. And then there will be high building. But none of those things happen. And the Arab already have high building. Not only that, the Arab have high building before Muhammad. Isn't it? Yemen is an Arab country according to Muslims. And Yemen, they have many floor buildings since thousand of years ago where is the prophecy about that same time if somebody says to you a prophecy that's mean he is sent by God what if I said now a lie and tomorrow become true so Muhammad he lie his prophecy did not come true according to Muhammad the Sun will rise from the e from the from the West so okay so now people they build high building and then after that the sun will rise from the west <laughs> are you there 
Yeah, I'm sure. So, is the prophecy is it true or is this is silly and stupid? You are from Poland, yeah, it's right? Silly, yeah. Yeah, I am. You are from Poland, right? Yes, yes, yes. What if I say now, I believe that the Polish people, they will be the majority of mankind in 2080. You believe it? I, I hope so. <laughs> but Not, no, no but, you, but you would believe it? No, 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 no. Of course. Okay. If I say the Italian will be the majority of mankind, would you believe it? No. Well, this is what Muhammad said. He said that the judgment day will not come until the Roman. They are the majority of mankind. So how Muhammad is a prophet of God? And he say such a thing. The Roman are the majority of mankind. Look at those prophecies. Look at this one as an example. The five signs they have to pass. The involving of the smoke, inevitable punishment of the Meccan at Badr, the victory of the Roman, the sizing of Meccan and Badr. I mean, what is the split of the moon? What do you think about Muhammad splitting the moon? No, I, like it's uh, it's about the belief, you know. It's uh, there is no like. Um... No, this is not about belief. This is not true because if the moon is split, the whole world will will see it. I heard that there is like um, I don't know, but I couldn't find it. Of course, I don't know why. Maybe I looked uh, really early, but there is like in India someone who saw it. But but yeah, you have a point. I ah, heard in that. India, someone who saw it. Ah, yes, like I this, said, I, like this guy, see, he was looking. Only one person in India, he saw it. Uh -huh. and, and, <laughs> let me explain. But uh, uh, kurva. <laughs> uh, I want to say that uh, that yeah, I, uh, it's it's about the belief only. Yeah, but I heard no, 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 no. It's not about no, no. This is not about the belief. This is a okay, big fat okay. lie. It's obvious. So the yeah. moon, the moon have eclipse. Muhammad is a big fat liar, and he took a poetry of an Arab man. This has nothing to do with the moon splitting. It's a poetry. The moon split. The guy he saw his girlfriend. She is so beautiful. And he said the moon is split asunder and because he saw her face, you know. ذات الساعة وانشق القمر عن غزال صاد قلبي فنفر أحور قد حرت في أوصافه. So this is a poetry made by Amr al Qais describing how the moon is split because how uh, describing how beautiful his his love the the women he love have nothing to do with the moon splitting have nothing to do with Muhammad miracles. Muhammad, he took it, he put it in the Quran, and we laugh at Muhammad. Now, you know what, to make it short, uh, what, yeah. is your, what is your education? Uh, like, uh, right now I'm studying licentiat, you know, in, let me check in, uh, in English, because uh, I know only in Polish, like, Google Translate really quick, and I, I'm telling you, okay? What? Uh, I'm studying, but the, this is the ending here, you know? You are studying ba what? Bachelor, bachelor degree. You know what I'm ba saying? Bachelor in what? In in what? Yeah. Yeah, in criminology. Criminology. Oh, okay. So, uh, yeah. so I show you the perfect verse. Here we go, chapter two, verse one seventy eight. Criminology, no problem. So, listen. As long as you study criminology, that means you have to study some science, correct? Mm. I mean. <laughs> I didn't have, have much science, but no. Uh, if a woman, see, like, if a woman, if a woman is raped, how? What is the yep. step to prove that she was raped? What is the proof? Yeah. Um, you like said you study criminology. Uh, yes, yes, yes. But okay. we didn't have like like medical. All right, my uh, friend. I have stuff. I have degree in law, so I will explain to you. 
The first thing, there is, there is two parts of the case. There is witnesses and there is evidence. Physical evidence is proving yeah. DNA. So the women have to do immediate examination within a few hours of the claim that to prove that she have a DNA from the one she claimed he raped her. And then they match the DNA. If the DNA match with the person, this I, is a clear evidence. You don't evidence. need to tell me that. I, All right. I, just don't want to I talk asked about you, you it, did not you know? answer. It's okay. disgusting to me. So now, this is disgusting. Why? Yeah. Why, dis why disgusting? Because, you know, it's, it's about the rape, you know what I'm saying? I know the. So what? The rape is exist. So what? Disgusting. Are you a kid? No, I'm not. But okay, you know, like, so what? what disgusting? We have so is rape is real? Is real? Is thieves is real? Is real? Is a criminal is real? So we are adult. We are not kids. So don't tell me this is disgusting, Mister Sensitive. So now, like, but you you want to go into Islam and uh, about it, yeah? Yes, yes. No, we are talking about Islam. That's why. That's why I don't want to because why I already believe you. It when you what you say you don't need to give me uh, any more proof. This is the point. All right. So, according to Muhammad, the baby is created in a certain way. There is a sperm, and then the sperm became a dead blood. Did you study anywhere in Poland that sperm transform and become a dead blood, and that will become a baby? No, I didn't. Are you sure you did not find it anywhere? In science, website, or something? No, I didn't look for it. All right. So is that uh, convincing to you that Muhammad is a true prophet because he discovered something nobody knows, that a sperm become dead blood and dead blood become a baby? Like I said, the the Ma whole uh, the rest of the things that you 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 told me today, like I I agree with you, yeah. Okay. My iman is is gone. You don't need to show me any more about rapes anymore. How, All right. How so what do you so because... what do you want me to do now? You left Islam. Wonderful. What do you want? Yeah, I think I, think I did. All right. So uh, what... I want to, I want to, I want to be certain, yeah, that Christianity is true. And I, I just, uh, just uh, seeking like for, seeking for the guidance. You know what I'm saying? All right. Like I want to, uh, like certainty, I want to, uh, to certainty about anything in life is a personal experience. So to be certain or not to be certain, that is your choice. Uh, when we talk about God, is not someone I can bring him to you and show you and say, this is God, and now you are certain. Because some people, they are the same as, uh, you know, uh, the disciple of Jesus. They said to him, show us uh, the Father, and that's it. He said to them, I am with you all this time, and you do not know me. Whoever saw me, he saw the Father. So there is people like to see in order to be certain, and there is people who believe without seeing. And you as a person, you will not believe unless you see. So I say to you, good luck. When you see, no, I, didn't. I don't know I what, didn't you, what you want, because you, you are seeking certainty. And how you can find certainty in the way you are looking for it. Because you are trying to uh, use logic, but you use you convert to Islam, which is illogical. So I found your logic is awkward. Either I'm logical all the time, or mm -hmm. logic is not really my priority. So as an example, it is not logical that Jesus is born of a virgin, because this is going science, right? Science does I not say, that. yeah, but, okay. but science does not say a woman, she can have a child without a man, correct? Hey, come again? Science does not agree that women, she can have a child without a man, correct? Yeah, yeah, sure. Okay, so how I can prove that to you? It's impossible. But we Christian, we believe in it. However, in Christianity, the story of Mary makes sense. Jesus is from above. He is son of God. He is a son of no man. So it was very normal that he is a son of no man. But how I can prove that Jesus is God? That is very simple. I did not witness Jesus. I never saw him. I never met him. But I trust that the disciple of Jesus who paid their life, all of them, 
they sacrificed, they been tortured. They did not give their life for nothing unless they are sure. John, he said, we saw his wounds and we touched it. So the true witnesses of Jesus, who they paid their life, is the one we receive the information about Jesus from. And there is no logic in the world, as long as you like logic, can convince me that somebody is willing to give his life for no return. No booty, no women, no sex, no money. To give his life just for a fake idea never happened. For something he never witnessed. All of them, they paid their life. In a very heavy and torture way. So what is the reason those people, they did what they did? Do you think all of them, they have mental issue? A bunch of a crazy wise men? Because if you read what they write, you will see how wise they are. If you read what they are saying to each other, you will see how high quality they are. So why high quality, wise men, noble, decent, are going to sacrifice their life for exchange of a false stories about Jesus, a story they fabricated. So for me, I say, if you believe in logic, what logic says is that those people they did not believe in an idea which is false. Otherwise, they will not be willing to pay their life for it, and nobody would do so. I, um, yeah, you have a, this is a strong argument, not gonna lie. But, um, but you know, mm, the Muslim, you know, claim like a lot of, like that the, the Quran is well preserved and everything. I know there is like force and they have like differences, you know. My friend, my but friend, also, my friend, who cares yeah. about preserve, not preserve? The Shaitan can preserve his book too. I have my books in Amazon. I challenge anyone to change them. Does that mean I'm God? This is a very silly idea. Secondly, if Allah he sent the Bible and he could not preserve the Bible, but he could preserve the Quran, that make Allah is more silly. For it is his book anyway. So if he can preserve one book, but he cannot preserve the other book, that make Allah a joke. And if Allah chooses to preserve one, but he don't want to preserve the other one, that is even more joke. So when you speak about preservation is more funny and more stupid. Same time, Christ, Christ, is not a book. Christianity exists not by the existence of a book. Jesus says, earth and heaven, sky and earth, they will be destroyed, but my words will not. Yet there was not a single word of Jesus was written. So the promise of the preservation of Jesus Christ's words is not about a book, it's about God himself. God, he said. So the message of Jesus will be preserved. And the promise he made is a true. Long before the book was written. And in order to convince you that Jesus is true or not, uh, I think you should not convert to Christianity. I think you should stay as an atheist. You are a person who you like to see things. And uh, you are not... Uh, you are not going to be a good believer anyway because you are a oh, person yeah. no you will not because simply you don't have so heart you just no no you don't so you, are telling you don't you, me don't, you don't have like... a you don't have a heart to believe mm -hmm. you have only uh, a position of uh, you know lost like you are just looking around sniffing you know what is better so you are doing, so did, uh, you are like somebody okay. doing shopping you know you are not really looking for god Okay, okay. So why did I believe in Islam at first? Because, as I said, you are doing shopping. You you uh, found no, something. No, no. You found something more attractive for you, and you decide to believe in it. Not attractive. I just so, didn't know no, no, about no, Christianity, no. and now when I want no, 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 no. Let me prove to you to, go, let, to be atheist. Let me prove to, to you. To, let to me prove to, to you. Let me prove to you what I said is true. You know nothing about Islam yet. You converted. No to way. You converted to Islam yet. You know nothing yeah. about it. So give me the reason. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, I saw it, that I was uh, looking uh, for God. Like I didn't. Uh, the wish shopping. The wish shopping. Okay, okay, and 
Did you? Yeah. Did you ask the same questions about Islam the same you ask about Christianity? Did Allah show you anything? This is my point. I didn't even consider Christianity. No, 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 no. You see, no, 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 no. I'm asking you, my friend. You are not listening. You are not listening. Uh, you okay. are asking for evidence for Christianity. Mm -hmm. Did you ask the same questions about Islam? Like you said, Islam is a preserved. Did you check if the Quran really is preserved? Do you have evidence Quran is preserved? Do you have even the Quran? Y uh, yes, I have. But back then, you know, no, you I don't. Just... No, you don't. Not a single Muslim. Quran. Not a single I... Muslim have the Quran. This is not the Quran you have in uh. your hand. This is a printed book by Saudi Arabia. They claim that this is according to the recitation of Hafs. But nobody have the book of Hafs. Nobody have the book of Uthman. Muslim have many Quran. They are different from each other. You did not check it yeah. out. So how come you yeah. confirm yeah, that this I is did. the Quran? Month ago I did. Like not month ago, but few weeks back. That's why I have doubts about it. And that's no, no. Why I'm how come you, you did not? Me to go at why you did not? Before you convert to Islam, are you a foolish man? So you jump in the in the murky water without knowing what underneath. Shouldn't you do? Ask all those questions before you convert to that religion or after you convert. So you say, I believe without knowing what you believe. No, I know what I was believing, but I just I, like I said, this was no, like you don't. Emotional process, you no, know? you don't. Okay, what is the nature right of Allah? now? You... Yes, right now I agree, but back then, you know what I'm saying? But back then, nothing changed. Still, you do not know. Here we go. If now you do not know, back then you do not know. So, why you convert? Yeah. This is like kurva. Like I said, I don't know right now because uh, I have these doubts that uh, that were building up uh, in me, and this is like, should I consider this as a blessing in the hearts of of Christians? Because I want to seek truth in Christianity, and you tell me to go atheist. I'm saying to you, you I'm saying to you, you don't fit to be Christian because you don't have heart to believe in Jesus. Mm -hmm. For your heart is it still until now. You know, to make, to make it simple for you. When somebody is a questioning, is a questioning something, and he is asking what is the proof. Obviously, his heart is not the one is working. It's only his brain, which is fine. But then when I show you that we have evidence, we have tens of thousands of manuscripts, we have the disciple who paid, paid their life, we have the story spread around the world, and you should know better, that Christianity is spread in India, Ethiopia, Sudan, Egypt, Syria, before even, before even the European. So all those countries around the world, they agree to fabricate the Bible. All the people from multicolor, multi-ethnic, multi-ethnic multi group, many of them, they are coming from pagan, not only the Jew, there's Jews, there's pagan, there's... All of them, they agree to fabricate the Bible. So isn't it silly that I am a believer and now I want to fabricate my book? Do you think really that somebody, he believe in something, he believe from his heart, and then he is willing to change the book of the God he believe in? How silly you are to believe in such a thing to happen. Why the Christian want to do that? Can you tell, if you go right now to your church and tell them, hey guys, I decided, and I hope you agree with me, to take uh, John chapter 7 of the Bible. Do you think they will agree with you? Of course not. So why they will agree in the before? Like, now people are more evil. Now people are more deceived. If people today will not do it, why they will do it then? Why those people who paid their life for Christ, they will do it? Christian today, they are, you know, I mean, uh, we cannot compare them to the Christians in, in, in the time of Jesus. They used to be hunted, literally. In order to pray, they have to pray underground. If somebody says a Christian, they throw him to the tiger. So we cannot compare between Christianity then and Christianity now. Still, they did not leave Jesus. So you, you are sitting in your comfort in the freedom of Poland in Europe who you have all the protection for your opinion and you believe, and you are questioning if Jesus is true or not, will ask the disciple of Jesus, they will laugh at you. Because you are a person who is sitting in his comfort zone, still you are wondering what they did, if it's true or not. For me, this is, mm -hmm. 
I believe is true. And I am, you know, because the wise God, he gave me little wisdom. And this wisdom is telling me that there is no way a human being will pay his life. And he got no return. Nothing. No booty, no sex, no money, no position, nothing. People spit at them. People treat them like dogs. They are not welcome. Jews treat them bad. Roman treat them bad. Arab treat them bad. Everybody treat them bad. Why in the world anyone want to do this to get what? Nothing except death and torture. And this is the most clear evidence that the ones who witness Jesus, they witness to the true God, the Messiah, our Lord and Savior. What is your, like, like, honest, yeah? Like, the last thing, yeah, and I'm out. You still uh, hold your uh, hold your position about uh, going to atheism? This is your business. I'm, you know, I don't care what you go. You see, man, not my business. But you are, a, if you but are, as a Christian, if, you know, no, as you a see, Christian. no, you, if, you see, because you are seeking, uh, you are seeking something called proofs. And what I will prove to you, send you to Mars. Uh, you are sending what? Are, are we going to go to the laboratory? So this is what atheists they think about atheists. They believe in uh, things they can see, and things they cannot see. They don't. They don't believe in it. And for me, I believe that atheists are stupid because there's a lot of things they believe in they cannot see. As an example, do you see my voice? I uh, <laughs> I don't want to see Jesus. I just no no no. Do you see my I... Do you see my voice? No, I don't. Okay, how I can prove to you that my voice is voice? And this is not the point. Listen. No, it's the point. It's the I, point. Because you no, want just, you I want just to want prove. To know about, what if you are what I, if you are what if you are deaf? How I can prove to you that I have a voice? Listen, I just want to know about the preservation of the Bible. That's it. About what? This is like this 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 was this was documented for sure, yeah? It's it, you it want, was documented somehow. There, you want, you want to know about what in the Bible? The preservation that is not corrupted yet, that this is the word of God, that uh, this is not the... Well, you know, my something. friend, if, if the word of God can be corrupted, that means God is not true God. As simple as that. Very simple. Because if God could not preserve his, 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 uh, his words, so who is he? I mean, this is easy. I can preserve my book. <laughs> so if God cannot preserve his book, that means God is not God. Very simple. So, for us, God book is not a book. God book is his teaching, is not the book which is written by ink. His words never was an in ink. God, he gave Moses, as an example, the Ten Commandments written. But still, this is not the word of God as what it's meant in the, you know, if you read the, the, the book of John, you will see in the beginning it was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word himself is God. So the Word of God is God. So in order to corrupt the Word of God, you have to corrupt God. You have to destroy God. You have to take God out of existence, then you can destroy his Word. For God and his Word is one. So Jesus is the Word of God before there is any book is written about Jesus. His existence has nothing to do with books and inks or pen and pencils. His existence is the existence of God himself. You are thinking about word written in books. We are thinking about God as himself is a word. No book can contain him. And no book can describe him. And no language can explain him. For his almighty God, wonderful, amazing. Nobody can explain his glory. And nobody can have it. And nobody can describe it. So what book you are looking for? We did not believe in Jesus because there's a book, it's called the book of John or the book of Mark. Even if those books never written, Jesus is true. The Messiah is our Savior. We did not believe in Jesus because there is a book speaking about him. What if nobody wrote a book about Jesus? You know, when the people believe in Abraham, it was a long time before anyone had a book about Abraham. Still, people believe in Abraham. 
when people they believe in about Adam, did Adam wrote a book about himself? I'm did going to read the the Bible with mm -hmm. open mind. And to, yeah, and but to if you want to read, if you want to read yeah. to know if Jesus is true or not. You need to read it from your heart, not only your eyes. And then if the word of the Lord touch your heart, then you found what you are looking for. And this is why I say to you, you are doing shopping. You are not you are not using your heart. You are just doing shopping. How you can prove to me? For me, when I read any chapter of Jesus, I will see God speaking. Even though I never saw Jesus. Go and find me. Any person wrote a book. He is wise and beautiful and amazing in what he say as, as, as the word of God. Go ahead. This so is, it, 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 it really hurts me that you said that about that atheism. But I really looking for the truth and I want to come back to Christ. And I believe there is a God and I'm closer to Christianity than, uh, than Islam. I will, I, as, that is your choice, you know. Yeah. Uh, your salvation is in your hand for me it's very easy to find who is the messiah as i said uh, like when the messiah says love your enemy that the extreme of wisdom which nobody can come with how in the world i will love my enemy so jesus when he taught us he was fighting our illness when a person, when a human being, he live in hate, his hate will kill him before he kill the enemy. In fact, he might never be able to kill the enemy. He live in hate. His hate will, will make him strive and suffer every day. He can't even eat without thinking about his enemy. Like the Muslims today. They can't even pray without cursing their enemy. They can't even do anything. The whole the enmity is about everything in their life so their life already destroyed so the wise Lord when he said to us love your enemy is not teaching us to love an enemy only he is teaching us not to be stupid and not to let enmity destroy us and hatred live as God live God he forgive if God decide to be enemy to us, we will be destroyed in two seconds. God, He forgive us. We pray, we repent. Your son is your sin is forgiven. If God He hate us, God He can destroy us, not like us. We cannot destroy God and we cannot destroy each other unless we have the capability of doing it. So if you live with hate inside you, this hate is going to be like a poison, will kill you slowly will make will turn your life upside down so if you leave the wisdom of Jesus you will see that your life will change the way you treat your wife your family your mother your children will change the way you treat everybody around you you change a person he convert to Islam right away he have to hate he have even to hate his parents so with Jesus you live as a new person this is why in Christianity we believe that when somebody is a believer, he is born again. So if you ask me about proof of God, I say to you, being born again with Jesus, which means you can be a criminal, you convert to Christianity, you will become a monk. You will become a decent man. You will become a loving. You never harm anyone. Christ, he will change your life. If you are a monk and you convert to Muhammad, you will become a terrorist. A child molester, a rapist, a hate monger, a violence teacher. So the proof of God is in the Bible. From their fruits you shall know them. How I know who is God and who is not. The fruit which is good fruit is the fruit of God. And I challenge anyone to show me one bad fruit of Jesus. And I challenge any Muslim to show me good fruit about Muhammad. From their fruits, you shall know them. All right? Yeah, yeah. yeah um, I'm going to read, uh, I don't know, just the New Testament or start with the uh, the Old 
What do you rec recommend for me? How to start it? Do you have a Do you have a Bible next to you? Mm, I have it downstairs. But uh, well, go go downstairs, and you can come back and tell us in the chat. And I want you to be honest. I want you to open the Bible and tell me which page you open. Just tell me which page, which chapter you are. You, uh, just don't don't look. Hold the Bible in your hand and open it with your fingers. And okay, tell me. Right and tell me what you get and read it. Hmm? You do not need to come here to tell me. You can just post in the chat what chapter your finger is choosing for you. And let us see what the message God want to give you today. You want to do that? I guess he went downstairs to get the Bible, maybe. He thought I'm asking him to go right now. People interested in my race? I'm black, blonde, African-American from Japan. Who care? And I am single. <laughs> Go ahead. Okay. Did you get the Bible in your hand? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Did you open anything or not yet? Yeah, yeah. Right now. It's, uh, it's Mark. Uh-huh. Um, mm, and now you want me to read something like no what what like, what the page you open oh, uh, tell me the one in uh, the the one the first page what mark what from the top it's, uh, it's second it's second all right what mark second is speaking about about the healing of someone all right it's in polish so so let me give me a second let me let me play the sound Mark 2. And again he entered into Capernaum after some days, and it was noised that he was in the house, and straightway many were gathered together, insomuch that there was no room to receive them, no, not so much as about the door. And he preached the word unto them. And they come unto him, bringing one sick of the palsy, which was born of four. And when they could not come nigh unto him for the press, they uncovered the roof where he was, and when they had broken it up, they let down the bed wherein the sick of the palsy lay. When Jesus saw their faith, he said unto the sick of the palsy, Son, thy sins be forgiven thee. But there were certain of the scribes sitting there, and reasoning in their hearts, Why doth this man thus speak blasphemies, who can forgive sins but God only? And immediately when Jesus perceived in his spirit that they so reasoned within themselves, he said unto them, why reason ye these things in your hearts? Whether is it easier to say to the sick of the palsy, Thy sins be forgiven thee, or to say, Arise, and take up thy bed, and walk? But that ye may know, that the Son of Man hath power on earth to forgive sins. He saith to the sick of the palsy, I say unto thee, Arise, and take up thy bed, and go thy way into thine house. And immediately he arose, took up the bed, and went forth before them all, insomuch that they were all amazed and all amazed are you with me yeah 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 it's uh, so my yeah, it's, my um, my friend the bible here is saying to you and i chose i chose nothing for you i told you to open with your own choice without even looking the bible is saying to you you are the same as the same person who was sick and they brought him down from the ceiling and jesus says to him go and your sin is forgiven so either today you choose to believe in jesus that he have the power to make you walk because islam make you disabled disabled to think correctly disabled to see correctly disabled to be wise islam made you blind so the lord here is talking to us about healing how he can heal you so i hope that today you are able to be healed without even having any physician to touch you in verse number 17 it says when jesus heard he says into them they are whole have no need of 
position but they they uh, that are sick come out and call the righteous but sinners to repentance so I say to my friend you better repent today and accept the Messiah as your Savior so he can say to you that the sin you did against me by converting to Islam is forgiven accept I Jesus will. go ahead I will I will I will I will do it I'm I, I'm interested now yeah first time uh, first time uh, I'm crying since uh, it's a long time yeah thank you all right you are welcome my friend take care God bless you, you. Bye. God bless you. I have decided to follow Jesus I have decided to follow Jesus I have decided to follow Jesus No turning back Turning the cross before me, the world behind me, the cross before.